Aussie powerlifter Darren Gardner is set for his fourth and final Paralympic Games. Like most athletes, Darren, also known as the Bear, follows a strict sports science sports medicine program, including the dreaded ice bath. Despite the chilly conditions, the Bear is in there as he goes from powerlifter to polar bear. So Darren, also known as Bear, what's going on here right now? I'm freezing my uh, you know what off. Just how cold is it? I think we th it's around 13 degrees at the moment, the water. And then the wind chill factor is about the same. It's obviously not the most pleasant experience. What do you do to sort of get through it other than do annoying interviews? You do become used to it. So even though it's cold, and it's really cold here, you get more and more used to it. Do you sing any songs in your head or think of anything in particular? <laughs> yeah, I think about Noosa. You've been competing for a while. There's been a lot of changes in terms of sports science, medicine, recovery and everything like that. Ice baths being one of them. How have you embraced the changes? I oh, look, the, the change is good. If the science is there, you've got to use it. Um, even if it's uncomfortable and you don't want to do it. <laughs> If the science is there and it's helping your recovery, you've just got to do it. Australia's powerlifting team comprises of just four people in London with two athletes and two staff. But it's a close-knit group and when it's one in, it's all in. As they say, there's no I in team. So Scotty, you're looking after a couple of old school athletes. How are they embracing the new sports science technology? Yeah, it takes a, a little bit of convincing initially, but once they realise and determine the benefits of, of what the science has to got, got to offer, sorry, I'm shaking, in this day and age, yeah, they're, they're really getting on board with it, which is fantastic. Now, you're obviously leading by example. Do you always get in the tub with a bear? <laughs> <laughs> no, this is actually a first. So even though it's an intimate moment, that as a team, I'm, gl I'm glad to share with a big bear. But it's something I wouldn't do that often, no. Would you like to see him jump in the tub with you every time to keep you company? Uh, no. <laughs> It's a bit too intimate. <laughs> Just talking about the powerlifting program, how are you guys faring at the moment? How's the program been going? Yeah, really well. We're doing some great stuff back in Australia with our development guys, uh, moving guys up into the program because, as Bear's indicated, this is going to be his last campaign. So we need to identify guys to come up and through for, uh, for Rio. So, yeah, so whilst it'll be a shame to see the big fella go, there are some great potential uh, lifters coming up through the Australian ranks at the moment, which is fantastic for us as a sport and a program. Post games, what are your plans and will you maybe live up to your name and be a bear drinking perhaps something on ice? Yeah, possibly. Possibly uh, the Bundy rum might come out. Um, we'll just see what happens. It'll warm me up, that's for sure. Maybe you could do with one right now. <laughs> That'd be nice.